My beloved brothers and sisters and never skip this video to the end. This one video can change your life if you see this with your full attention. The Hadith of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, actions are only by intentions, and every man has only that which he intended. Whoever's emigration is for Allah and his messenger then his emigration is for Allah and his messenger. Whoever's emigration is for some worldly gain which he can acquire or a woman he will marry then his emigration is for that for which he emigrated. Emphasizes the paramount importance of intentions in shaping our actions. It conveys that the true essence of our deeds lies in the intentions behind them. Actions are not merely judged by their outward appearance but are deeply influenced by the motivations driving them. This hadith serves as a guiding light, directing us to scrutinize the purity and sincerity of our intentions in all facets of life. In the realm of virtuous deeds, the hadith underscores the significance of sincere intentions aligned with seeking the pleasure of Allah. It elucidates that the true essence of worship lies not merely in the outward performance of rituals but in the heartfelt intention behind them. Moreover, it advocates for the multiplicity of intentions, suggesting that attaching multiple noble intentions to a single act can amplify its spiritual rewards manifold. Conversely, the absence of intentionality renders acts of worship devoid of their spiritual essence, reducing them to mere mechanical rituals. The Hadith admonishes against performing virtuous deeds with ulterior motives or intentions aimed at worldly gains, highlighting the importance of purity and sincerity in every action undertaken in the path of righteousness. In the context of neutral actions, the Hadith expounds upon the transformative power of intentionality. Mundane activities such as sleeping or eating, when infused with a conscious intention to seek Allah's pleasure, transcend their mundane nature and become acts of worship. By consciously aligning even the most routine aspects of life with the intention of serving Allah, believers can elevate their mundane existence to a spiritual plane. Furthermore, the Hadith warns against the insidious influence of bad intentions, which contain seemingly neutral actions and transform them into sinful deeds. It emphasizes the need for vigilance and mindfulness in guarding against malevolent intentions that may corrupt the purity of our deeds. The profound impact of intentions on the hearts of early scholars is also highlighted, underscoring their recognition of intentions as integral to the spiritual journey. This introspective aspect of faith demands constant self-reflection and accountability, as believers strive to ensure that their intentions remain aligned with the divine will. Moreover, the Hadith elucidates the superior merit of intentions over actions, affirming that sincere intentions carry eternal rewards, while actions are inherently limited. This eternal dimension of intentions underscores their significance as the driving force behind our journey towards spiritual growth and salvation. In conclusion, the Hadith serves as a timeless reminder of the pivotal role of intentions in shaping our spiritual journey. It urges believers to introspectively examine the motivations driving their actions, emphasizing the transformative power of sincere intentions in elevating mundane deeds to acts of worship. By aligning our intentions with the divine will and seeking Allah's pleasure in all aspects of life, we embark on a journey towards spiritual fulfillment and eternal rewards.